Brentford versus Manchester City on Monday night. Um, well, the two, uh, the form of these two clubs couldn't be anything more different, really. Man City won draw in their last six. Brentford one win in their last six. Um, Brentford are now, I think, starting to look over their shoulder with uh, the likes of Luton winning quite consistently in the moment. There's just... Uh, just a four points between, uh, sorry, three points between Luton and Brentford. So theoretically, Luton could jump above Brentford, and then the bees would be in the, like the troubled area of the Premier League. Um, can Brentford do something in this game? You know, I'm a Brentford fan. I've got to say yes. Anything's possible. Realistically, we are struggling. Um, it's a well documented fact at the moment that. It, we've lost so many points, over 20 points now from winning positions. Um, and whilst we, we seem to be out to score goals, it's defending. Uh, the uh, Tottenham game during the last midweek was a case in point. We defended well enough in the first half and uh, had taken the lead. Turned it around in the second half, Tottenham were a completely different side. Three goals in 10 minutes and that done us. And then it's an uphill task. We, Brentford got a goal back. Um, the only good thing really is that both Ivan Tony and Neil Malpai seem to be finding the back of the neck regularly. Um, if that continues, then Brentford have got a chance. Uh, on the other hand, Man City, well, they had a good win against uh, Burnley last midweek as well. And Erling Haaland is back. And, you know, his goal scoring record just says everything. Uh, if it's not him, then. Alvarez is scoring goals, De Bruyne is back fit and playing regularly, Foden's playing regularly, Grealish is playing regularly, you know, the, the list of their star players goes on and they're, they're only going to get stronger. Um, it's, a, it's a great game for Man City to, to win uh, if they can because with Arsenal playing Liverpool the day before, if that was to be a draw then Man City would uh, close the gap again uh, on Liverpool at the top. So, predictions for the score? Well, I t if it was a draw, I I'll take that right now. I a draw would be great, but I've got a horrible feeling that this is going to be another difficult night for Brentford, and I think we may lose this one 2-1. So, yeah, Man City, I think, are going to take this 2-1.